Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, today is part two of how to set up your Facebook fan page. And this in this uh, video we're going to cover um, optimizing your fan page as well as uh, how to get more like or how to get likes to your fan page. So uh, first off, if you haven't subscribed uh, to my channel, please do now so you don't miss any more training. And uh, let's let's get started. So uh, to to optimize, you can you can I believe you can do up to uh, four ten four to ten I believe uh, tabs. I would only recommend about two to three. Um, don't really want to overwhelm. Put too much on there. Um, but when you when you do it, it'll show up here. So when your when your um, visitors come to your fan page. They're gonna see an offer up here, and they will click, and they'll it will take you to wherever you choose to direct them. So, to do that, simply uh, come up to your search bar and type in static HTML. It's like that, and you will be presented with uh, a few apps to use. I would use um, Thunderpenny. Uh, you can use whatever you want. And let's see. I think it won't open because I already opened it. So I actually have it over here. And this is the site that you will see. So you'll just click um, Add static HTML to a fan page. It'll take you where you need to go. All right, let's try it again. It may take a couple tries, but uh, it's definitely worth putting on there. Here we go. Wait, maybe not. Dang it. Here we are. This one will work. Sorry about that, guys. Sometimes it acts a little weird. Okay. So, here we are in the... Uh, Static iframe tab installer. As you can see, um, just add tab to your page you want and go from there. Now, now you go back to your um, fan page and you will see the tab there. And it's right here. So when you see the welcome, that's how you know that it's installed correctly. And next is you just have to customize it to how you want it to look. So, and you you can do that um, I think as many times as you want. Uh, I would only recommend like three at the most. Um, you will. I'll show you why in just a second. So now you're gonna come down here and set it up how you want it. Um, if you want, it, if you want to redirect to another page, you can do that, and you'll simply just put your address there. And that's that's pretty much it. If you want to do a fan gate, uh, it just means they'll be um, screened. Which I really don't mess with that, so I can't really tell you. A lot about that, but you you will find info uh, on the page if you really want. It. Uh, I don't I don't really mess with that. I just I'll, I'll put the uh, I need to worry about is putting the um, website there and 
you want to add a customized tab so people don't so people know what uh, what it is you're offering so whatever whatever it is you want to put there uh, you know trying to just try and keep it short and simple and something that attracts their attention so and then you're going to want to do uh, an image that uh, best that will attract them to uh, to what it is you are um, promoting on this tab and keep in mind it has to be um, 111 by 74 pix pixels so also uh, if you don't know how to uh, um, change the image style there is a there's a lot of uh, online editors you can go to uh, one I would recommend will be Pixlr and it's, it's pretty easy to use and uh, I've actually got a um, tutorial on on my my channel so you can uh, feel free to browse and find that and I'll also include the link below in the description so moving on um, make sure to put the image there and then you will click settings and it's simple it's done just like that so you can come back up to your page We'll refresh it so that it actually works and it should show up there you go and that's how you do that now when you scroll down now you do that as many times as many times as you want uh, like I said though I, I wouldn't recommend more than four two to three to four um, but I, I would keep your uh, your core offer right there so that people see it. So when they come to your website, that's the, that's what they're gonna see is uh, that part. So you can move it up um, too, so so it'll show right there. And then we'll just scroll down and uh, you'll see it on the left hand side here and so will your visitors so if they want to check it out they can click on that and it'll take them to your page so uh, that it's very simple and uh, now we're going to run likes to your page so uh, as I mentioned in the, the previous video um, you can come here and you can send send as many people invites as you want to your page, all your friends. Uh, you can even you can even type in uh, likes for likes in your search bar, and you will you will find groups that you can that you uh, can post your your link in your uh, fan page link in. And you can trade likes for likes, or uh, you can also go to uh, Ad Manager, create create a, a account there just by filling in your simple info. And um, when you do that, you can run a like campaign. So this is how we're gonna go about doing that. So you'll go to your Ad Manager. And this, this is if you have a budget to work with. You don't need a lot. I mean, you, you can have from a three dollar to five dollar budget. Um, but this is a good way to actually reach your target audience, and so you'll you'll get a lot more um, response inside your group. So we'll go to create ad. And as you see, I don't spend a lot on traffic, so it doesn't cost you know a. Uh, a huge amount you don't have to have a huge budget to do this so and you will learn more uh, as we do more videos now that you have your fan page set up and your capture page set up you can do uh, you can start running traffic and you can also 
find out a little bit more about how to do that um, inside the um, PayPal Mastermind group where I learned um, just exactly how to do this. You can do the same thing uh, by clicking that link below. Um, so here's how we're going to do a live campaign. Uh, let's go to promote your page and pick your page if you want to do. So we'll go Just go that one and click on set audience and budget. And you will set your uh, country. I would recommend the United States, Canada to start off with. Um, but you can also do United Kingdom, pretty much any English speaking country, the top five. Uh, United States, Canada, United Kingdom, Australia, New Zealand, Ireland. Uh, those are the ones that I will normally um, target. And we'll get into more advanced um, ways to run this. Right now, this is just kind of how to set up a quick uh, like campaign. You will pick your target age. And then you simply will find a uh, uh, an interest that you're trying to uh, target. So mainly whatever your site or your fan page is about. If it's helping people uh, earn money online, then you're going to want to try and target people that are interested in making money online. Uh, entrepreneurs, online marketers, affiliate marketers, internet marketers. Uh, those are all good good uh, sub or tar topics to target um, it's also a good idea to actually target um, online marketers who already have a following and uh, they will they will see uh, that they already have a following so they already are you know they're interested in um, online marketing or whatever it is you're interested in if it's health and wellness then obviously you want to be targeting uh, big popular trainers in inside that or cooks or healthy cooks or chefs you know just just simple ideas like that just keep it really simple and we'll set your budget oh here here's who here's a who I normally target I get I get a lot of uh, I get, I get a lot of traffic this way with Gary Vaynerchuk, so something to consider. And you will set your budget. Like I said you can do like five dollars a day to three dollars a day. I usually just set it at five. Um, there's something new you can do is you can set your your lit, your amount that you want to spend, and Facebook actually gives you the suggestion of what what to what to run and you can also set how you want to be charged so set it to page likes and you only get charged for page likes and we'll, we'll run through this um, so um, mainly you know you can use that image but it has to have 20 percent text so that might not work um, uh, so again you can either use Pixlr to create an image or just go on Fiverr and find find someone who specializes in Facebook ad images and then type quick text about what uh, what it is you do to get someone to uh, wanna wanna like your page and see what you have to offer and that's 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 pretty much uh, how simple it is to run a light campaign um, and then after you got it all set up the way you want it if you're happy with it you'll go ahead and hit place order so uh, we will get more in depth to that uh, that's it for me and I got I gotta go so uh, Jonathan Glazer saying take care and don't forget to click that link below have a great day